Afternoon and welcome to the Kingdom Live. Hi Adam, how are you today? Hi Zan, caught by surprise. Spring weather, hot in Adelaide, had to change clothes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Fortunately. it's a little bit too much information, yeah, but anyway, exactly. that's all good. Thanks for joining us today. We are up for stage two of how to use social media to convert through the sales funnel. So, so exciting. It is so exciting, yeah. isn't it? Well, it's I'm a whole actually, new I'm loving this four-parter. <laughs> it's, it's kind of good. Rope them in. So we're going to talk about yesterday, if you didn't yeah. catch yesterday's show. So if you didn't catch yesterday's show, we talked about the first stage of the sales funnel, which is attract. So how we go about bringing the people into the sales funnel using your social media. So today we're going to talk about what to do with those people once stage you've attracted two. them. So yeah. they're already, they know about you, they're attracted, and now we're going to start to convert them. Convert, beauty, very exciting. Mm -hmm. Stage two is conversion using social media. So what do we do? Well, there's a... So what's a conversion look like? That's probably a good thing to start with. Exactly. So we like to look at it like a transaction, if you like. Yeah, So okay. a transaction where your email address is the currency. So a conversion for us means when someone gives us an email address in return for something of like value. Yeah, so, the, so we're talking about there a situation where the prospect is happy to give you their details in exchange for something of value to them. Exactly. Usually via a landing, for, a landing page. Landing page. Correct. With a yeah. former. Yeah. Exactly. So the first, first suggestion is exactly that, landing pages to convert. So premium gated content. So we're talking ebooks. we're talking checklists, we're talking infographics. We're smart sheets. Smart yeah. sheets, yeah. We're talking any sort of downloadable information that I have to give you my email address for, which is going to bring me down the funnel and... I will be converted. And I guess it's interesting about this, Dan, is that this is not a super difficult thing to actually get working in your business straight away because the chances are you've already got a whole bunch of information you've created for a tender or for a quote yeah. or for your company profile brochure or for some sort of activity which has already been in existence in your business. So to create an ebook is not that difficult or to create a spreadsheet or a checklist of value is not that hard. But we. Those, it's really a key to inbound, is that once you've got those on your website, then you're able to offer something which is of value, which the users will hopefully say, yes, that's a good idea, I'm gonna engage there and give you my details. And there's two parts to this equation. One, it's not, a conversion is not the opportunity for you to then jump on the phone and call them. That's <laughs> no. a disaster, okay? Exactly. That's not the transaction that people are signed up for. A conversion is very much a transaction where they're happy to give you their details in exchange for what you're offering. Yep. And in exchange, you get information that tells you how far down the sales funnel they are, mm -hmm. and that's where your skill at nurturing or calling or whatever it might be comes into it. But if it's at the top of funnel, you don't just jump in there and call. No. If it's the middle of funnel, bottom of funnel, well, those different offer stages, the type of content that you're offering will give you that in indication as to where they're at. So I guess this will come up in the further down down the well in episode three and four. Yeah. In the four part series. Yeah, delight. But Every day this week. <laughs> if I'm going to come to your website yeah. and download a piece of premium yep. content, yep. what would the nurturing look like for me after I downloaded that piece of uh, content. That's So it starts with the first thing being uh, how you get the content. So I would absolutely uh, have your system, this is where HubSpot comes in its own. Uh, with HubSpot we'd go ahead and we'd send a thank you very much email, here's the link, and we'd also send you across to a thank you page that says uh, thanks, here's the link, but also here's five other related blog posts about the similar topic that will help you out on your journey of discovery to aid you trusting our business. And those links that you send me to, are they going to be, like you said, they're relevant, but are they going to be the same sort of information or are they going to... Nurture? Bring me down Absolutely, the funnel. Absolutely, bring you down the funnel. So super important is that the, uh, the link is going to actually bring that person down closer and closer to the pinnacle of information that they get so that they fully trust you and fully understand what's yeah. going on. Awesome. So another another opportunity here is a little bit easier than the landing page with the content offering if people are a little overwhelmed by that because it can be a bit much. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's just the simple subscribe now. So come and, come and check us out on our website, sign up for our email newsletter that we send out every yep. fortnight. We won't bombard you with 
irre irrelevant information, but yep. come and actually join our newsletter. So that's a really easy way of asking for someone's email address because you're promising to send them information which is going to be valuable to them. Yeah, and look, I think when you talk about how you use social media for this, we have great success. We take those landing pages, which include subscribe now and yeah. inbox and premium content, and make a really lovely, attractive image out of them. And then from there, you actually post them on social media. So this is where Twitter and social and Facebook and Google Plus, LinkedIn, they all become very powerful at getting that, that conversion. Yep. And so, uh, and I know we know in our own social media experiences, if we drop off with the promotion of our landing page gated content pieces, we have a direct correlation to drop off in contacts in yep. your database. And this is super important because on average, Databases, email-based databases are declining by you know, on average 22% every year. And so you need to have a strategy to continue to top them up. That's right. Otherwise, you're going to end up at zero. Yeah, exactly. Okay, <laughs> I'm doing the maths. Another great option is to look at retargeting. So retargeting is, let's use Facebook as an example, where someone has been on your website yeah. and has interacted or checked out a few pages. So this is the creepy little things that follow you yeah, around. Okay, yeah. So yeah. these are the things on the right hand side of Facebook, happens on the web as well, where if you've gone on someone's website, then you've got some follow up information. Yeah. Now, thoughts, do you love it or hate it? Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love yeah. it. I love watching, I kind of am now, because I'm on the other side of the coin, I yeah. kind of am now like testing the waters a little bit to see. Oh, uh, you're who's, remarketing me. Oh, yeah. there we go, yeah. bang. And, and I kind of give that, that crowd kudos yeah. because okay. I think you're ahead of the pack. Absolutely. But the, the place where it's really valuable is, and I'm a bit of a, um, I'm a bit of an online shopping addict where I go and put a lot of things in my car. Oh, I'm never actually. Secretly, secretly. Nothing's better than the freight guy rocking up well, three days after you forgot yeah, what you bought. Yeah. It's window shopping without yeah. the window. Totally, yeah. So what's, what, what, there's nothing like better than, oh, I do Oh, that. so okay, then yeah, I get, get, get retargeted. Okay, so you more, like, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I've got all those clothes in that shopping cart. I should go back and check out what they were. Correct. So retargeting, easy to do with certain platforms. Certainly Facebook is a big part of the pixel tracker mm. and the power editor. So definitely more advanced Facebook side of things, but, you know, super powerful. And that keeps you at top of mind with your offer, with your idea, and Absolutely. pointing to the and website. Facebook do it really well because they let you take, let you upload more than one image. You can do carousel yeah, ads. Video There's these some days. Really, really cool ways of, yep. of doing the retargeting. Fantastic. Definitely worth checking out. Love it. Yeah. All right, and our final suggestion for converting um, via social, via social media. media. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's part two of a four part series. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is Facebook Live and Twitter streaming and Great. Periscope. Yeah. So using services like this to actually... And webinars too. Yes, yeah, exactly, absolutely. webinars. Yeah. Actually interact with people in a live environment. So an opportunity to answer, answer questions, an opportunity for us to put a call to action out to you. So yep. come and join us on our website, subscribe to our newsletter. Yep. We have some awesome blogs. Um, well, the webinar thing's great because absolutely. what you can do is you actually promote that you're having the webinar Pick a time, pick a day. It's not super hard to get webinar software. We uh, enjoy GoToMeeting, but there's lots of them. So create the date, create the event, beautiful graphics, advertise it on Facebook, use social media, mm -hmm. get it out there on Twitter, create a landing page to sign up. And so you're getting the sign up conversion. And look, if people, what's, what's cool about webinars, they don't necessarily, the prospects don't necessarily have to attend the webinar. No. Because they can, as part of your strategy, you'll actually create follow-up emails and you'll actually create follow-up landing pages for them to view the webinar afterwards. So it remains an asset on your website for a long time, which is Definitely. you know a big big fan of that. In fact, we need to go and crack one for ourselves. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Excellent. Excellent. Good idea. So there you go. There's four easy ways to convert um, the new attracted followers that you have on your social Correct. media. Correct. So part platform. one's attract and part two is convert. Tomorrow, we've got part three, yes. which is closing, and then part four, we can't remember, but we'll work it out. It's going to be delight, but something like that. <laughs> it's me Thursday afternoon delight. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, app of the day today. Oh, she's so excited. Oh, this is an absolute perler. Just tell them. Get it's, it out there it's, quick. It's Dropbox. <laughs> but it's not just Dropbox because Dropbox is not new. People no. have been using Dropbox for years. But I've, And there's nothing worse than a full Dropbox. There is nothing worse than a full Dropbox. You have to pay like two ninety nine a month. I have stumbled across a little bit of a secret. Ooh la la. Well, it's not really a secret. It's on the internet so everyone can find it. Yeah. But by... by joining your Facebook account, your Twitter account, your Google Mail account, and then recommending Dropbox to some other friends and oh. users, Dropbox will actually increase the space in your Dropbox. Wow. So you can either do really? one or all. Yeah. 
Right. There's other tips too, like um, upload using a camera. Okay. So there's all these little hidden secrets with Where'd Dropbox. Where did you find these little babies? I actually, um, oh, wow. We'll I put was, it in the show notes. I was on Twitter. Oh, yeah. And I saw a cleverly written headline that captured my attention. A it track? attracted me to the website. So I clicked on the link and I went to the website and I might just be converted. Perfect. Well, on that note, that sounds like a fantastic note to end on. Uh, we have got two more exciting shows this week, around about three o'clock each weekdays through till Thursday. But if you've missed the previous episode, particularly part one, Golden Stuff goes in part two, obviously, check it out on the website, <laughs> www.thekingdom.com.au slash the-kingdom-live. Yep. And in the meantime, we'll be back with part three tomorrow. Thanks, son. Have a good day. See you later. <laughs>